Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Book Odyssey. Today I'm looking at five epic cyberpunk sci-fi series recommended by you. As I get a lot of great recommendations from you guys, I scoured through the comments of my cyberpunk sci-fi must-reads video to bring you five series recommendations. The first on this list is the Agent Cormac series by Neil Asher and this was recommended by Mark4D. The Agent Cormac series, also known as the Gridlinked Sequence, is a series of six novels that combine cyberpunk elements with space opera. They sit within the wider Polity series, which is made up of several interconnected stories, each one following a different set of characters as they navigate the complex world of the Polity universe. It began with the first novel, Gridlinked, published in 2001. In this future, matter transmitters known as Runcibles, controlled by AIs, allow for instant interstellar travel throughout the settled worlds of the polity. The story follows the protagonist, Cormac, who has been directly gridlinked to the polity AI network for too long, slowly losing his humanity, as he's forced to disconnect for a mission. Earth Central Security suspects sabotage when a runcible explodes. Thousands are killed and a terraforming project is obliterated. Cormac is assigned to the case. The series is known for its fast-paced, action-packed approach to sci-fi and for its in-depth world building. Next, we have the Dr. Adder series by K.W. Jeter, recommended by Daniel Kybera. The Dr. Adder series is a trilogy of books that begins with Dr. Adder, first published in 1984, followed by The Glass Hammer in 1985 and Death Arms in 1987. The first novel, Dr. Adder, establishes a future US that has fractured into territories run by warlords and a government that is concerned mostly with controlling technology. It follows the abandoned son of a brilliant scientist who has in his possession a broken cyber weapon called a flash glove as he crosses paths with Dr. Adder, an artist surgeon who deals in body modifications. Known for its portrayal of graphic ultraviolence and a nausea inducing portrayal of weird sexual appetites within its host of completely unpleasant characters, the book took K.W. Jeter 12 years to get published, reportedly for those very reasons. Dr. Ada contains many of the elements you'd recognise in classic cyberpunk fiction, such as cyberspace and body modifications, but was written a decade before these themes hit the mainstream. Notably, Philip K. Dick said the book will change your notions of what's possible in science fiction forever. Next is the Bridge Trilogy by William Gibson and this was recommended by Andreas Xanthros. Gibson's Bridge Trilogy follows his wildly influential Sprawl Trilogy and consists of Virtual Light published in 2003, Idoru in 1996 and All Tomorrow's Parties in 1999. The story is set on the west coast of the US in a post-earthquake California, as well as a post-earthquake Tokyo, Japan that has been rebuilt using nanotechnology. The trilogy takes its name from the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, which was abandoned in the earthquake and has become a vast shantytown shelter for the impoverished. In this world, the middle class have all but disappeared, leaving only multinational corporations and their hugely rich elite, and the poor, many of whom live illegally and entirely outside the normal economy in places like the bridge. The books deal with the race to control the beginnings of cyberspace technology in the first novel, Virtual Light, when a young bicycle messenger who lives off-grid on the bridge steals a pair of dark rimmed glasses that are more than what they seem. Before we head on to the next series, I want to give an honourable mention to Accelerando by Charles Stross, which was recommended by Comp. This isn't a series, but a standalone collection of short stories, but I wanted to give it a shout out. This 2005 sci-fi consists of several interconnected stories and won the Locus Award in 2006. The book's title refers to the accelerating rate at which the novel's characters speed towards the technological singularity, a hypothetical future point in time when technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. The stories tell the tale of three generations of a family before, during and after the technological singularity. 
Next up is Bruce Sterling's Shaper Mechanist Universe, and this was recommended by James Byers. The Shaper Mechanist Universe is the setting for a series of short sci-fi stories and the novel Schizomatrix, which takes place across a span of 350 years. In this future, part of humanity has become post-human, leaving the remaining humans behind on Earth to spread across the solar system. The post-humans have largely separated into two competing factions. There are the Shapers, which attempt to push the limits of body manipulation through genetic modification and psychological training, and the Mechanists, which have a disdain for the Shapers' methods and instead prefer to use cybernetic augmentation, advanced computer software, technical expertise and drugs to achieve their goals. The mechanist philosophy favours individualism more than the collectivist shapers, but both are fighting to control the schizomatrix of humankind. In the novel Schizomatrix, published in 1985, the shapers are losing the battle, and the story follows an exiled shaper diplomat as he struggles to alter the direction of humanity's future. Lastly, we have the Hardwired series by Walter John Williams, and this was recommended by Ian Price. The Hardwired series consists debatably of four works. Hardwired, published in 1986, Voice of the Whirlwind in 1987, and the novella Solip System in 1989. Then there's Aristoe, published in 1992, which isn't linked by any story elements but suggests it's set in the same universe by the reference of an interface implant they call Areno, which is the name of a character from Solip System. In Hardwired, orbital corporations control America. Cowboy, yes, that's his name, is a smuggler who can control an armoured hover tank using a neural interface. We follow Cowboy as he teams up with Sarah, an equally cyber-upgraded gun for hire, as they team up to fight the orbitals. This is followed by Solip System, which is set between Hardwired and Voice of the Whirlwind, featuring the disembodied consciousness of the character Reno in a plot to bring down the orbitals. The novella is noted for its controversial elements, which at this point is almost a must with cyberpunk, right? Voice of the Whirlwind follows a clone who wakes up with 15 years of missing memories. In this future, an alien race known as the Powers have established relations with humanity and the orbital polycorp have collapsed. Then in Aristoe, set further still into the future, the technologically advanced human society has spread across half the galaxy. The supreme class, the Aristoe, are given the responsibility of managing nanotechnology and are considered somewhere between government and gods. So that's it for this cyberpunk series list. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to keep your recommendations coming in the comment section. Until next time guys, happy reading.